Hey guys, if you're having problems with your Ableton Live crashing on you all the time and you're getting that weird memory error when you restart it again, let me show you how to find out what the problem is and a potential fix for it. Okay, so you can see I have a session open here. And so I've figured out that it's actually your plugins that are causing this issue and causing it to crash. And I'll show you which plugin it is on my computer that's causing it to crash and why it's doing it. So first, let me show you, like if I throw addictive drums on this track here, right? So that opens up and let's say I duplicate this track. So I have two instances of my addictive drums going, right? I got a one there and one on track two, nothing happened. So I'm going to go back here. Let's get rid of this addictive drums Then I also have, um, I have some native instruments plugins. So let me throw a native instruments on my track here. And if I duplicate this, no problems at all. So now I have two instances of my native instruments contact running. Everything's fine. But here's where the problem begins. So let me get rid of all, get rid of this plugin as well. But when I go to record guitar and I'm using bias effects too, watch what happens when I do the same thing with bias effects. Wait for that to open. Okay, so now we have one instance of bias effects too on this audio track. Now check this out. First, I'm gonna show you this before I run another instance. If you open up your task manager while bias effects two is running, you're going to come down here and you're going to notice, check it out. Bias web view seven. When you open that up and drop it into your, your live project, it's opening up seven different web views from bias effects. And so then when you try to duplicate that track and you have two instances of bias effects running, now you have 14 web views and these don't close down either. After you shut the program down, they stay open and that's what's causing the memory dump problems. So check this out. So I'll close out the task manager. Here comes the error, right? So if I duplicate it, boom, serious program errors occurred. Live will shut down after this message box is closed. Please restart live and follow the instructions in the report a crash lesson. You hit okay. Now we're gonna open up live again. Live unexpectedly quit while you were working on this live set. Would you like to recover your work? No. And now live is going to take forever to open. It's going to be so slow. Everything's going to be bogged down because remember that web view, those seven web view windows that opened on the initial um, start of the plugin are still there. I'll show you that when we come back up here. It's going to take a little bit because might as well have some coffee. And this is so aggravating because once you get that era and that keeps going, I mean, Ableton Live is just, it, it is so slow. Oh, here's that other error. So fail to access the undo history file. Switching to memory based undo. Live will not be able to recover your sets after crashes anymore. I'm going to show you how to fix that so you don't get it the next time after you open live again. So we're just going to click OK. And you can see it's it's really slow. We still have the blue box here. It's going to take forever. And then in here in a second, we'll get the report a crash icon come up. There it is, report a crash, right? So click out of that and see it's not even, doesn't even want to do it. OK, so we have no plugins. Now let's open up our task manager again. I'm going to show you this. Come down to bias effects. See that bias web view seven. So we still have seven web views of bias effects open, even though we have no plugins going. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on it. We're going to end the task. Okay. Now we've gotten rid of that, right? So now the next thing we need to do is we're going to close out. I'm going to show you how to get rid of that other error. So close out of your live and it's going to take forever to even close.
this has been driving me insane. Every time I try to run this, it's been doing it. And of course, you know, as a guitar player, you're always using your guitar effects, right? So it, it's just, it's no good. And bias effects is really not a big help because they're kind of putting it on Ableton Live, saying there's something wrong with them. But in reality, it's not because my bias effects too worked fine until I updated to the latest version and all of a sudden I have these problems. Okay, so now we're going to go to our file explorer here. Okay, you're going to go to your operating system, your C drive. You're going to find your users folder. And then you're going to find your username. Now in here, it's important. This is going to be a hidden file. So you need to click on view, down to show, and then show hidden items here. Make sure that's checked or you won't be able to do this. So you're going to come down to app data, the app data folder, double click. You're going to double click onto your roaming folder. You're going to double click into Ableton. And now here in your live reports, you're going to go inside of there, go into your temp folder. And you see, we have the memory dump that's being caused by the web view. So click on that and delete it and get rid of that folder. And then you see all these Ableton crash reports. We're just going to highlight all of those, delete all of the crash reports. So now you're going to come back out. You're going to go into your live folder, whatever version number it is. It'll say live followed by your version number. Double click in there, double click into your preferences. And then here in your, you're going to that undo folder. You're going to delete it. That crash folder, you're going to delete it. Close that out. Relaunch Ableton and it was going to open up really quick. Boom, already open. So yeah, it's your plugins that are causing the problems. Um, I hope this video helps you. Uh, there's no workaround for bias effects too. So if you have an, another plugin that's causing the issue, you might want to look into alternatives. I'm not going to be able to use my bias effects too anymore. I'm going to switch over to uh, the native instruments, uh, guitar rig. So that's my workaround for that. But I hope this video helps you guys out to understand what's going on and why your Ableton Live just keeps crashing. All right, guys, I'll talk to you in the next video.